Hello, everyone. Welcome to another episode of the 3X Value Growth Podcast. My name is Carrie Sauls, Value Growth Advisor to private and family-run businesses who are seeking resources to ensure that their business can reach its full potential. That's why we have the 3X Value Growth Podcast. Tune in to hear from experts who generously share their expertise to help owners like you crack the code on how to multiply the value of their business in any economy. Today, my guests are Michael Houlihan and Bonnie Harvey. Welcome, Michael and Bonnie. Thank you, Carrie. We're very happy to be here. I'm so glad to have you here. I'm recording here from New Hampshire. Where are you guys in right now? We're in Northern California. Northern California. So your weather is much milder than mine for April 1st, that's for sure. Yes, it's sunny and clear outside. Well, to give people an understanding of who you are and why I'm so pleased and honored to have you here on the podcast, let me give a brief introduction. Michael Houlihan and Bonnie Harvey are the founders of Barefoot, America's number one wine brand. They are also the co-authors of the New York Times bestseller, The Barefoot Spirit. They started with virtually no money or wine industry experience and pioneered worthy cause marketing. They now share their innovative approach to business as consultants, authors, workshop leaders, and speakers. Welcome again, Michael and Bonnie. Thank you. Thank you. It's It's a thrill to have you here. So the topic for our seven-question interview is when the cement is wet, you can move it with a trowel, but when it hardens, you need a jackhammer. So what does that mean for business? Well, you know, when you hire somebody, you only have 24 hours to imbue in them the principles with which you want them to execute the job you're giving them. And And that's the wet cement. That's the wet cement. In other words, what, what are the values of the founder? You know, what are the values of the business? What does the business stand for? In other words, why should you be proud to work here? Perfect. So let's start the seven questions with the first one being the easiest. Who's your ideal client? Well, our ideal client is a founder who's also the president and CEO of their company. They're still in control of their training budget. So they're the person who can make an investment in a tool to help people when they're going through the onboarding process to actually to actually understand the history of the business and understand the principles of the founder. Perfect. So my second question is, what problem are you trying to solve for these business owners? It's the number one hidden problem and hidden cost that any company has, and that's turnover. If people are more engaged, if they understand what the principles are of the founder, then they can relate to that and they can relate to everyone they're working with and be more of a team player. They can care more about the company that they're working for instead of it just being a job. So it solves the problem of turnover, the number one hidden cost of any company. Huge. So building on that, my third question for you both, Michael and Bonnie, is what are the typical symptoms that you see owners experiencing or that they talk about? The owner will hire somebody, they'll train them, they'll have them on board for six or eight months. They finally, the employee develops relationships with, you know, key vendors, key buyers, and then they up and quit. And, you know, all of that training is lost. All of those relationships are lost. And now the owner has to start all over again, has to go out and find somebody. They try them out. Maybe they work. Maybe they don't. You know, they have to take somebody who's doing 100% of their job and say, mentor this guy. So now they're both operating at less than 100%. So, and then maybe the person doesn't work. They have to start all over again. So this is the problem. Uh, it's, it's really about investing in people and losing your investment because of non-engagement and because of turnover. Not really, the employee doesn't identify with you or your business. For them, it's just another job. Exactly. So building on that issue that is costing them so much over and over again, What do you see are the most common mistakes that owners are making when they try to solve it or fix it by themselves? Well, it goes back to the onboarding process. Usually it's all compliance. 
It's all where the forms are. It's these reports need to be filled out. But that is totally not engaging. <laughs> and that they don't ask the person for their advice. They don't find out what that person is really good at because that person never has the opportunity to contribute their talents, their attributes to the company because they don't know the challenges that the company has been through. They don't realize the principles that the founder has built from the beginning. So it's that corporate culture, the corporate DNA that isn't being shared to the onboarding employees. Absolutely. Yes, and as the company grows, those um, those walls become thicker and thicker between one employee and another. So getting back to the first question, the ideal client of ours would have 50 employees and growing because during that success period of growth, that's the most dangerous. That's when your employees will become disengaged. And that's, that's a very dangerous position to be in. It's also when you're hiring. Always. It's also when you're hiring more people. <laughs> Exactly. That growth is, is really precipitous. My fifth question is, what's a valuable free action that you can re recommend that our listeners take that can help them down this path? Well, I think, you know, we, we always get back to what the founders had in mind when they built the company. And one of the things that all founders have in mind is customer service. They're scared to death. They're not going to have a sale tomorrow and the next day they're going to have to close. Well, then you get these people, they're engineers, and they say, well, the company failed, but it had nothing to do with me. I'm in engineering. I have nothing to do with sales. So you see this, the distances and the walls start to go up. We've got to break those walls down. So one of the things that they can do is they can import, impart the story of the company with its challenges. You know, do you realize I had to run my credit cards out? I had to work in a garage. The, I had humble beginnings. You know, I had to worry about every sale. And we built it up. We finally got this customer, and now we have this customer and this customer. And the bottom line is that when people hear a story, they're more likely to identify with the principles behind the story. You're absolutely right. Story is the best way to teach adults and for them to retain the lesson. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes. So my sixth question for both of you is, what's a valuable free resource that you can offer to our listeners that's going to help them actually do what you're talking about? Well, to engage their employees, they need to all meet together and talk about what the company goals are, what their challenges are, and what their opportunities are. And by everyone in the company, including the engineers, including the receptionist, and certainly including everyone in marketing, sales, production, they all meet together and they realize that they all have the same goal. And by doing that, they also realize how they can contribute to that goal and how they can help their coworkers in their, uh, in their path to that goal. So everyone has a lot more to contribute than what they're doing, but they have to meet together and understand that they have the same goals in order to really understand where they can contribute. That's great, Bonnie. So my last question for you both is, what's a question that I didn't ask that I should have asked you? And could you share both the question and the answer, please? Um, the question is, why is it so important uh, that your employees know your company history when they are hired in the first 24 hours. Why is that so important? And it's like we started out, when the cement is wet, you can move it with a trowel. When it gets hard, you need a jackhammer. And the thing is, when you can move it with a trowel, why not embed the company history in that new employee's open mind? They're coming to work. They don't know what to expect. This is your chance to tell them your company story. And this is what we do. We produce company stories. We call it business audio theater. And we interview founders who are also CEOs and presidents who are in control of their training budgets. And we say, okay, we're going to do something like a Hollywood movie about you, only it's going to be a, a, uh, 
It's going to be sound only. It's going to be audio only. But we're still going to have actors, sound effects, and music. And we're going to make you the star of this adventure. And it's going to have segments, you know, where you barely make it, where you almost get shut down, where the bank calls your note, where you almost get arrested, where your top client almost fires you, all this stuff. Or does fire you. Or does fire you. And then you have to pick yourself up. You dust yourself off and you get going. But it's an exciting adventure with music and sound effects. And you let them listen to it on an MP3, like, you know, they already wear an earbuds. So let's put something on their phone that they can listen to when they feel like it that has to do with the company they're working for. And it will give them more appreciation. It's a one-time investment and it lasts for thousands of employees. That's terrific. Thank you again so much, Michael Halloran and Bonnie Harvey, for joining me here today on the 3X Value Growth Podcast. This was really insightful and provided really valuable content for our listeners. Thank you again for joining me. We're happy to share things with you. Thank you. The mission we set for the 3X Value Growth Podcast is to make critical information available to owners of private businesses that will help them easily multiply the value of their business. The 3X Value Growth system we offer leverages our proprietary analytics, platform, and client portal to address quantitative, performance excellence, and risk factors to increase EBITDA. To learn how you can multiply the value of your business threefold in just three years, check out 3xvaluegrowth.com forward slash model for a free PDF. You'll be invited to attend our next demo of the 3x value growth program on a free monthly webinar of what works in the lower middle market. Thanks for checking out our 3x value growth podcast. If you like what we're doing here, head on over to Apple Podcasts and subscribe. Leave us a review or rate us. It's very much appreciated.